right guys, hello, welcome to the video, a bit of a different one today. Today is 28th of March 2016 and today it marks the, the start of my diet, right? So I'm going to take you through um, everything today that I'm going to eat. So it's going to be a full day of eating. Uh, I'm going to take you through my breakfast right now. So I just woke up, had a bottle of water for Beaker's Health, as my student would say. And got another bottle of water here that I'm going to have with my breakfast. For my breakfast, I'm going to have 100 grams of Quaker Oats, I'm going to have 2 eggs, and I'm going to have uh, 100 mils of egg whites. So I'll weigh this out now, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Alright, so for, first thing you're going to do if you don't know how to make this kind of egg white, eggs and oats porridge thing, you're going to put some water in the bottom of the pan to make sure that it's layered out, and then you're going to weigh out your oats. So, so and that is going to go straight in the pan, make sure you layer it out all the way. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to get your egg whites and you're going to weigh out, well, weigh out whatever you want. I'm weighing out 100 mils. You can get this from Asda, um, right next to the spread. So it's kind of a weird place to, to find it, but great kind of um, source of protein. So I'm going to hit this in now. 100 mils of liquid egg whites. They are joining the oats. And the last thing that's going to go in are the eggs. Okay, so adding the eggs in now. Next thing you're gonna do after you've added all your ingredients into the pan, you're gonna get the heat on low to medium. All right, you're gonna mix it all together and you're gonna cook it nice and slow, but you're gonna carry on mixing it. So as you see, it's started to thicken up now, so it's really up to you. I'm gonna turn the heat off right about now because I don't really want it to get any thicker than that. But it's all up to you, if you want it a bit thicker, Cook it for a bit longer, if you want a bit thinner, um, consistency-wise, consistency then just take it off. All we need to do now is season it. So, we're going over here. So we've got Himalayan pink salt, telly cherry, whatever that is, black pepper, cinnamon, paprika, and a little bit of honey. None of which I will track on my fitness pal, just simply because there's just no point. Alright guys, so there it is, meal number one, macro is going to be on the screen right now, and just to let you know, everything that I have, um, everything that I'm cooking today, I've already put in my fitness pal the day before today, and I think that's the best way that you can diet, it fully allows you to plan and prepare, prepare for your, kind of, your day. So yeah, this is meal number one, and I will see you in the next meal. So I forgot to mention real quick, with my breakfast, I will be having... Um, two fish oils, uh, two A to Z multivitamins, that's a glucosamine sulfate tablet and those two are glucosamine and something else, I can't really remember what's in the packaging, but basically just glucosamine sulfate and also a vitamin C tablet which is 1000 milligrams of vitamin C. So that is going to conclude meal number one and I will see you in the next meal, take two. So back from Asda, just went shopping real quick, so I'm going to show you what I'm working with. Rocking the Wealth hoodie, 10% off, link in the description, as you know by now. So what we are working with, these are just a few things that I picked up from Asda that I didn't get from Costco. So we got some uh, frozen mixed veg, some avocados, some 10 calorie jellies, which are seriously good for, um, oh, the light's really bad, there we go, 10 calorie jellies, which are really good for kind of craving that sweet tooth that I really do have. Uh, so I got raspberry and strawberry. I got some more egg whites. I got some uh, protein yogurts, 20 grams protein per part, another jelly there. Uh, some brown rice, two steaks, some, what's that? I think it's bacon, yeah. Some bacon medallions and some sweet potato. So that's pretty much it, I'm going to have my second meal now and then I'm going to head to the gym so I'll show you what my next meal is going to be, I haven't decided just yet. Alright so I'm just about to cook meal number two, Ben is here and he's just fucking cooked. So Nicest smelling toast oh. ever man, and it's first day of dieting, horrible. Hashtag. So I'm going to have, i got two meals that I can choose from, I've either got 100 grams of rice and 114 grams of ham or 90 grams of rice and 150 grams of chicken but because I have to defrost the chicken I'm going to go for the ham because it's going to be quicker and easier so I'm going to weigh this out now but it doesn't take a genius to cook a bit of rice and weigh some ham out so I'm going to do it and I'll show you what it looks like when it is done 100 grams of rice from Costco 114 grams of what's this? oak smoked dry cured ham 
rice is cooked. I think I'm so impatient when it comes to rice because like it never, you always like say that you're supposed to cook it for like at least 10 minutes and I just bang it on for like three minutes and then think that it's done. So probably never had cooked rice properly, but it is what it is. Um, so I'm gonna pour this in there, mix it all together and then head to the gym. Got my five rep max today actually. So that should be quite interesting. I'm gonna record that as well. So, but that will be obviously in a separate video. So I will see you, Macro's gonna be on the screen, I will see you in the next meal. All right guys, what is going on? So we are at meal number, we're actually at meal number four right now, even though you've only seen three. That's simply because I completely forgot to video the third meal, but if you remember in the second meal, basically what I said was, I have a choice between two meals. I either can have 100 grams of rice, let me get this lying down, there you go. 100 grams of rice and I think it was uh, like, I don't know, the macro has been on the screen, and a certain amount of ham. It was 100 grams of ham. Or I can have, um, or I can have um, 150 grams of chicken and 90 grams of rice. So that 150 grams of chicken and 90 grams of rice is what I had post workout. I had my shake and then I had that. Now I am going to be prepping for tomorrow that exact meal, so I'll just show you what it looks like. Um, you know, once I've prepped it, and that'll kind of have to, you'll have to take my word for it that I actually have that meal. <laughs> so right now, anyway, we're at meal number four, and I'm going to have steak and sweet potato fries. So, sorry, I just got a message. So, I'm going to show you kind of what, what I do when I'm preparing it. So first of all, the kettle is boiled for the sweet potato fries, because what I'm going to do is I've weighed that out now, that's 206 grams, I think. And then I've not weighed this out yet, but I need 170 grams now. Because steak is so expensive, if if it's more than 170 grams, what I'll do is I'll eat it anyway, and I'll adjust my macros for the rest of the night, simply because I don't want to waste food when it's that expensive. So, I'm going to weigh it out right now, and I'll let you know what it comes to. But as you see, fat trimmed off everywhere, and um, we are at 162, so that's just below 170, what I said it was going to be, so what I'm going to do is, I'll just change that in my fitness pal, and I'll work around it for the rest of the night. All right, so I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna boil the potatoes right now and whilst I'm cooking the steak and vice versa. And I'll show you what it looks like when I've done that. And I'm also gonna have 160 grams of frozen veg, which I'll get out now and show you. Okay, so just, okay, so just weighed out the veg. All right, so all it is, is some, if we can see, uh, bird's eye frozen veg, frozen mixed vegetables. Um, and it is carrots, fine green beans, garden peas, and super sweet sweet corn. So as you see, this is 160 grams of like frozen fruit, uh, frozen fruit, frozen veg. And you know, the reason people eat veg on a diet isn't simply because they enjoy it. Yeah, it's because of the volume, right? So that is about, I think it's about 80 calories or something. And it's 160 grams of veg. The reason it's 160 is because that's per serving. So 160 grams of veg and that will fill you up, uh, you know, a relatively significant amount for the amount of what it is. So it's all about volume. You know, things like rice in comparison to pasta is a good choice. Simply because, you know, it's so much more food um, for the same amount of carbs, if that makes sense. So it's all about smart choices. All right, so I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna cook this all up now. Uh, pretty sure that the veg goes in the microwave. I don't know we can boil it. I would rather, so another top tip that you can take is try not to microwave all of your food if you can avoid it. Simply because microwaves are so powerful that they basically just get rid of, you know, a fair amount of nutrients. And the reason you want to, um, obviously, you want to get the most amount of nutrients from your food. There's a hair on my camera again, out of the way. So, yeah, you want the most amount of uh, nutrients from your food, so you want to avoid microwaving where possible. So if there's an option to boil this instead of microwave, and I've got the time to do it, well, considering you boil it for three minutes, you know, it's not really a big deal, is it? Yeah. So I'm going to boil this and see how it goes. I've never actually boiled this before, so we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I'm going to cook it all up now, and I'll show you what it looks like when it is done. So the steak is done, the veg is done, and now I'm just waiting on the sweet potato because I took it out and it wasn't fully cooked so I reckon two more minutes and then it should be ready but meal number four is cooked <laughs> I completely forgot that I don't even have a masher so that's my attempt to try and mash it with a fork some of it is actually still uncooked so I'm just gonna have to keep it where it is and hope for the best but like I said today is my first day of dieting and kind of first time really that I've properly done all this so 
kind of just getting to grips with it and um, it'll take you some time you know once you start dieting it'll, it'll take you some time to get into the full flow of things but once you are you know you're um, you're well on your way um, so gonna have this probably not enjoy it that much not gonna lie um, just as a quick side note cook the steak in zero calorie spray if we can find it zero calorie cooking spray from Costco um, canola oil and boiled the sweet potato and boiled the veg. So that is what I'm going to have and also I'm going to have a um, Pepsi Max Cherry zero calorie. Bam. Hello and welcome back. Uh, yeah. Alright guys, so just finished up that um, sweet potato steak and um, veg meal. And you know what, it wasn't all that bad, it was it was okay. Um, obviously, not as good as a Mackey's like, but um, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm, ac I'm actually expecting to see quite a bit of weight drop off these next few weeks just by cleaning up my diet considerably. Um, so, anyway, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna prep my food for tomorrow. It's about half eight. Um, I don't know why I look behind me because there's no clock there. But it's about half eight, and I'm about to prep all my meals for tomorrow. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, kind of how I made my meal that was missed out on here. Alright, and that's the best I can do, so you're just going to have to forgive me for that one, sorry. Alright, so over here, I've defrosted some chicken. I've realised that on the packaging, now this is something you have to be really careful when you're dieting. Or whenever you're tracking your macros, I'm just going to turn that off. Whenever you're tracking your macros, you need to check on the label whether or not you weigh the food cooked or raw, okay? Cooked presents a bit more of a problem because obviously it's easier to weigh food whilst it's raw. However, if on the packaging it says per 100 grams uh, cooked, then you've got to weigh it cooked. Now, unfortunately, this chicken that I get from Costco, which is super nice, um, it's actually supposed to be weighed uh, whilst it's cooked. So, because of that reason, I've had to do a bit of trialing out and I figured that about four of these, you know, like mini fillets, are, um, is around about 150 grams, which is where we want to be. So I've defrosted four of them, and I'm also going to weigh out the rice now, which I also got from Costco, this big ass tub of rice. This is just white basmati rice. I do have another one that's white, white long grain rice, and I have some brown rice right there. However, today we are going to go for this basmati. Um, so literally all, this is all it was. So I'm gonna cook this up and I'll show you what it looks like, but it's basically just chicken and rice. Quick side note, I am gonna be seasoning my chicken with this Schwarz chicken seasoning. Now this is seriously high in salt. Per 100 grams, 72 grams of salt. So seriously, seriously, seriously high in salt. So you, if you're gonna season it, you gotta use things like that sparingly. We do have other seasoning, but I just like that one. And yeah, you just gotta be sparing with it. Um, really kind of don't, you don't wanna have too much salt. You know, a little bit's not too bad, um, as long as you're having enough water. But yeah, when you're dieting, you don't really wanna have too much sodium. It's um, it's not really gonna benefit you, you with that whole lean look ting. All right, so I'm gonna season it right now, only a little bit. And yeah, that was just a quick side note. So I'll see you in the next clip. Chicken is cooked, all right, I'm about to weigh it out, so I've zeroed that with the container on there, just to see how much I've got, because like I said, um, you have to weigh it cooked. So, I'm gonna, gonna do this now, I can't hold the camera and do all this. So, I will check in with you when I've weighed it all to let you know how much is in it. How much is in it? Words, as Max Tudor would say. How much chicken is there? That's what I was trying to say. Okay, all right, okay, bye. As you can see, there's 118 grams of chicken there. I did plan for 150, so that's quite a lot out of what I did originally plan. But like I said, when you're starting a diet, this is the sort of stuff that can happen. You just need to get to grips with it. So I'm gonna have to input this, input in, blah, blah, input this into my fitness pal and change up um, my day tomorrow a little bit, just in conjunction with that. It won't be a big deal, to be honest with you. So I shall let you know. Well, actually, no, I don't need to let you know because this is the full. This isn't for today, so that is kind of what it looks like right now. I've got my ham and my rice and my chicken and my rice all ready for tomorrow, and that's going to be my two meals: um, one pre-workout, one post-workout, and yeah, that's it for now. I've got a little bit left to finish off with my macros, and then I'm going to bed because I'm up at 5 a.m. So I will see you in the next clip. Okay. All right, guys. End of the day right now. Just finished up meal prepping all of my meals for tomorrow. 
Um, well, most of them anyway. So I'm going to show you uh, kind of like my, my last snack of the day. Alright, I'm going to justify it for you. So, right now we have um, 75 grams of an avocado, which I'm going to weigh in a minute. Um, reason for this, I wouldn't usually have this right now, however, the reason for this is simply because I um, forgot to have it this morning. I didn't forget to have it, I didn't actually have it in because I had to go to the shop to buy it and I bought another two as well. So that's kind of the reason why I have to have that because it fits my macros. So, I would just have what I'm about to show you now at the end of the night. Okay, and there's a couple of reasons for this, so I'm going to tell you right now. Okay, so what we're going to have is we're going to have two, only two um, blocks of this dark chocolate, right? So, as you can see, this is 70% cocoa. And dark chocolate actually has more antioxidant effects than even blueberries. It's really high in antioxidant, and it's also really high in fat, like healthy fats. So, um, because I personally struggle to hit my fat intake, I don't struggle with protein, I don't struggle with carbs, but my fat's are always really low, simply because I don't, well, it's not simply, because I don't really use, I don't really use spreads, I don't really use uh, olive oil, um, I don't really use coconut oil or anything like that, I use like, you know, zero calorie spray and things like that, so my fats are just usually quite low and I don't really eat cheese. So, I have to get it from somewhere, so hence the avocado, healthy fats, and hence the dark chocolate. Uh, another reason for the dark chocolate is simply because I am used to eating chocolate because I can eat whatever I want when I'm powerlifting and, you know, um, trying to gain as much strength as possible. It doesn't bother me what I eat. However, now, um, I think that it's really going to help me. Think, think, think think that it's really going to help me um, stop the cravings as well. So I'm only allowing like two blocks of this, but yeah, so that's the justification behind it. Fits my macros um, and you know, it's justified like I said. So I'm just going to cut up this avocado now. I'm going to eat the avocado first, definitely, um, because I'm not going to enjoy that as much as I'm going to enjoy the dark chocolate. All right, so I'm going to cut this up now. I'll show you what it looks like. 75 grams of avocado. And two dark, two blocks of dark chocolate. Bah. Okay. Bye. Well, here it is. I'm just kind of uploading um, this video actually onto my Mac. Um, so there it is. Uh, so last meal, as you know, is my avocado, 75 grams, and then my two uh, pieces of dark chocolate there. And just wanted to say real quick as well, just before I sign this video off, another great thing about this. Believe it or not, this little tiny piece of two bars of chocolate, you know, is what you could work towards by the end of your day. If you think, oh, I'm going to hit all of my macros, I'm going to do it really well, then that kind of thing can be your treat, even though it's in your macros, it can be a little treat at the end of the day. You know, I've hit them, I've done really well, now I'm going to re reward myself with something that I enjoy. Um, I wouldn't say you, you should do it with um, foods that aren't going to benefit you in in as such but yeah that's just kind of how i see it um i really enjoy dark chocolate so the benefit the health benefits behind it um are just kind of a bonus as well so i'm gonna sign this video off here so i hope it wasn't too long i tried to make it as short as i could um but i did want to uh, i did want to put some instructional content and also some tips on health and nutrition in there as well like that. so hope you enjoyed that and hope you took something away if you didn't know um you know for example, the health benefits of dark chocolate, for you know, um, anything like that. Hope you've learned something in this video. Uh, if you have, then please leave a like rating. It would help me out massively. But I'm going to sign this one off here. So thank you for watching. Comment, subscribe, like the video, all that stuff. It'll help me out massively. All right, so we're going to eat this and get to bed because it's quarter past nine and I want to be asleep by 10. <laughs> so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh, and my five rep max today you be looking out for that because that is big news. Big news coming soon. All right. So see you in the next video. Pa. Don't know how to sign this video off. Never know how to sign a video off. So I just say like bye or some shit. I don't know. But yeah, thanks for watching. Okay. Bye.